everybody, Cindy Sells here. And I thought today I would tell you about the difference between an expert when you're selling your home and a non-expert and what that looks like and what to look for when you're hiring an agent to um, sell your home. So an expert, of course, will always, first of all, and most importantly, will negotiate on your behalf. They will uh, make your transaction seem seamless because they're handling those problems behind the scenes. Um, they handle all problems and objections with regards to other agents, uh, inspectors, appraisers, all those things. The only time an expert ever brings you in on um, getting involved in those types of situations is when they need your decisions um, and things that have to be solved together as a team. Uh, otherwise, they'll just take care of those things and you won't know it. And then the, 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 the last thing is they're always going to get you your best deal. So they're going to be looking and always looking out for your best interest to make sure that uh, in the long run, you're going to get the very best deal that you can get. Where a non-expert, unfortunately, won't be able to negotiate on beha your behalf. You know, a lot of people don't may not realize this, but negotiating is a very... Um, highly needed skill in the real estate business because we are we are talking with other there are two people there are two sides that are involved in in selling a home you have a buyer and a seller and each one of the agents that uh, work on behalf of their client which is whether it be a seller or a buyer have to be negotiating mostly through that transaction to make sure that each person is getting what they need, or at least we're coming together and making it a win-win. Um, a non-expert will not be confrontational. So uh, they may hide behind text and email. They don't communicate as well because they're uncomfortable. <laughs> they're put into a situation of confrontation and they don't know what to do. They don't know how to handle it. And then they're a lot of times in a negotiating situation where it's price, they'll just say, well, let's just split the difference which is the worst thing that you can do. It's not a win-win in that case. Um, okay, let's talk about uh, an expert uh, as far as pricing, because pricing is a really important thing that happens when we're getting ready to sell your house. We're in a really hot market. So a lot of agents that are inexperienced and not experts think, well, I can just price it in anything, that it'll just sell at anything. That is not true. It is still just as important to price your home correctly today as it is during any kind of market that we have. So a smart expert will price your property uh, close to the, the last highest sale. Now, it doesn't mean you can't go up a little bit, but it doesn't mean you can go up 20 to 30,000. Um, they'll know the market, they'll have market knowledge. They will know what homes are selling in the neighborhood. They will know what's going on in the market and they will have a prepared presentation for you when they come out to see you. Where a non-expert will come in and say, well, uh, Mark is really good and what would you like to list your house at? And which is that right there should be you fold up your book and go home uh, Which isn't a good thing because then that means they haven't done the research. They haven't prepared They don't have the knowledge They're unable to answer the questions you might have about the local market and they won't have something prepared uh, It makes me kind of sad to think that these things do happen But I want you to be aware of these so you look for these things when you're interviewing your agents to hire the last thing would, would be your, your contracts. So contracts are very important and a lot of uh, people don't realize that when you sign a contract, it's a binding document. It's held binding in court. And you can't just get out of a contract just because you decide you don't wanna either sell your house or you don't wanna work with that agent or whatever that may be. Those are binding. And so a good uh, expert agent is going to explain that contract to you as they go through it with you whether it be the listing agreement or ultimately the contract that comes in for the sale of your home. And they're going to comply with time frames. Uh, they're gonna make sure that everything stays in line and they're staying within the confines of the contract and what it dictates, the language of it, to protect you from any legalities that would come down the road. And that they're prepared correctly. Where a non-expert will not be able to explain those things to you, uh, the, the the pieces of the contract and they will make mistakes because they don't know. It can be very costly to you in the long run. So 
When you're thinking about selling your home, be sure and talk to the experts. Um, uh, if you're going to interview three real estate agents, hopefully these tips will help you know which ones to look for. But make sure that you hire the very best person for the job and someone that maybe was referred to you. Or um, if you're looking for that person, we can help you here at the Cinda Sales Real Estate Company. You can call us at 816-600-7355 or visit us on our website at cindasales.com. Thanks for stopping by today and have a great day.